first of two proclamations tonight from the office of Mayor Quill. Whereas the black experience throughout history is an enduring foundation upon which the black community is built and stands, and the struggle and challenges overcome by African Americans throughout the centuries are inspiring to all Americans and reminders of the principles we share as a society. And whereas Black History Week was initiated in February 1926, and for many years, the second week of February chosen so as to coincide with the birthdays of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln was celebrated by African Americans in the United States. Whereas in 1976, as part of the nation's bicentennial, Black History Week was expanded and became established as Black History Month. It is now celebrated all over North America, whereas the theme for 2023, Black Resistance, explores how African Americans have resisted historic and ongoing oppression in all forms since the nation's earliest days. Black Resistance strategies have served as a model for every other social movement in the country. Therefore, the legacy and importance of these actions cannot be understated. And whereas, as the late Congressman John Lewis advised, do not get lost in a sea of despair. Be hopeful, be optimistic. Our struggle is not the struggle of a day, a week, a month, or a year. It is the struggle of a lifetime. Never ever be afraid to make some noise and get in good trouble, necessary trouble, quote. And whereas as we take this opportunity to study the accomplishments of all African Americans throughout history, we reflect on the role of the black community in our nation's past, present, and future, to enrich our understanding of the history of black America is to broaden our understanding of our nation's history. And during Black History Month, with appreciation for their contributions to all areas of American life and culture. And whereas in 2023, thanks to the leadership of Ms. Pauline Copes Johnson, the city of Auburn will denote the story of the work of Mrs. Frances Brown, who served as matron of the Harriet Tubman Home for the Aged and Indigent Negroes in John Brown Hall. Now, therefore, Michael D. Quill, Mayor of the City of Auburn, on behalf of the members of council, does hereby proclaim February 2022 as Black History Month in the City of Auburn. Uh, council. <laughs> council is with us this evening. We have Pauline Johnson, who I have asked to meet me at the podium, along with members of her family. proclamation in the, in the name of Harriet Tubman and I'm very proud of her and I thank you for this proclamation um, she was a wonderful woman and, and she was called illiterate but I think she was intelligent enough to be the nurse, scout, and spy for the Union Army. And it's a wonderful <coughs> thing to be able to come here. I'm 95 years old now, and I hope I'm going to live to 100. <laughs> Can I just say one thing? Um, my mother being 95, Matriarch of our family, she is. How's that go? She is. She's the five generation matriarch. So there's five generations of of our family. I'm sorry, I'm not a speaker. <laughs> <laughs> so everything that comes out of my mouth doesn't come out right. But thank you for listening to that. <laughs> I'm not going to say much, but I thank you very much because this uh, proclamation in Harriet, as you well know, is close to Mother's heart. And I know that uh, 
she loves to come here and receive the proclamation. So we do our duty and bring her here, make sure she's here. So thank you much. Thank you. Pauline to yourself and members of your family, I know Mr. Bush will verify this in the back of the room. The swamps of South Carolina and going into North Carolina and Georgia, they're not a good place to walk in the middle of the day. And how she did it, and it, 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 it was pitch dark and no compass, nothing, just going by the stars. She had to be a remarkable woman and you have a lot to be proud of.